Huh. What is up, everybody? It's me. I'm back. Again. Uh, well, I guess you could say this is stream number two. For, uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon. Infinite Whelp. Oh. I could say... Part, yeah, part two, or, or stream number two, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Alright. I know did we do it yesterday, no, during the day before. Chapter two time. <clears throat> we're gonna see what goes on. Chapter two, Paradise Hawaiian style. Go to... Oh wait, we got it. Oh wait. Get out of here, man. I'm gonna go to... The tower. Probably should take the... I think we can take the taxi. I think. Yeah, let's fight these guys real quick. Let's go, punk. Threatening men. Oh, it's one of those guys. That's it. We're on our way through the taxi cam. I wonder if there'll be a shop like the first one. Um. Thank you, taxi. Cool. 
Treasure hunt. Oh, we got some. Hmm? Nice. Alright. Watch out. Alright. Uh, to think there'd come a day when we'd share a meal here. I'll say. Still, I assumed it'd just be us. Actually, they're here on Ebina's orders. <laughs> I made a lot of enemies before getting arrested. Plenty of people out there still hate my guts, it seems. Oh, I did what you asked. Got my passport right here. Ah, excellent. So, uh, what's this favor you're asking? I'm sending you to Hawaii. There's someone there who wants to meet you. Hawaii? Uh, who is it? Well, it's your mother. What? What? She's the one woman the boss truly loved. Akane-san. Huh? Wh wh wait, that's... Just so we're clear here, yes, you are indeed the boss and Akane-san's child. That fateful day 40 years ago, I saw everything with my own eyes. On that day, two babies at the coin lockers were sadly mistaken for one another. Mm-hmm. Okay. as Masato Arakawa, the boss's own flesh and blood. You were, of course, replaced with... <sighs> the son I abandoned. If you hate me for it, you're welcome to say so. You have every right. You know, I've always had two fathers. Jiro Kasuga at the Shangri-La Soapland, and by oath, Masumi Arakawa. For what it's worth, that's all I needed. Maybe you're right. That said, what about your mother? Right, uh, so, uh, this Akane-san lady is... Yes. She's your mom. <laughs> no, but Akane-san, I, I heard she was killed. Heck, Arakawa-san told me himself. The Hikawa family hunted her down. You know, the guys Arakawa-san used to roam with. Right, well, that may be what the boss believed. But... It's not entirely true. <sighs> hmm. Prior to the boss's departure, the patriarch of the Hikawa family hoped marry Arakawa-san to his daughter. That's how much he liked him. You might even say the patriarch wanted him as his heir. But, as fate would have it, the boss was already together with Akane-san. So he had to fearfully turn down the offer. Right. That was it. And the Patriarch's rage upon hearing the news was more than the boss could have ever imagined. In a sudden turn, he tried to kill both the boss and Akane-san. Who at the time, was pregnant with you. Hmm. I heard of that. Hmm. They can't protect her at the end. In the end. Wow. You see, the boss had heard Akane-san was caught by the Hikawa family, but he never saw her body for himself. He kept believing she was out there, and so he strung up one Hikawa member after another. But by then. It was too late, and the order mm. to kill Akane-san had already been passed on to the contractors. Contractors? Professional hitmen. 
So now they were on the hunt too. The Hikawa Patriarch was playing boys' cards. All that to kill Akane-san? Just her alone? Crossing the Yakuza carries a heavy toll. Surely I don't have to tell you that. <sighs> it was then Arakawa yeah. made one last move. And in order to save your mom, he raided the Hikawa family HQ all by himself. Uh -huh. Your 
bitch holding up. Ooh. Come the key like that. I don't know. Torturing the Hikawa patriarch until he breathed his last. But no matter what he did, the madman kept on laughing till the bitter end. Hmm. Wow. And in the end, he never found out where Akane san was. And now he had no chance of calling off her pursuers. But wait, he knew she was headed for the Philippines, right? There had to be something he could do. There was. He flew to the Philippines as soon as possible, and once he formed his own family, his subordinates joined the search. But nothing ever turned up, and the years just kept passing by. He came to believe that if Akane's son were alive, she would have contacted him. That day never came. So he and the rest of us assumed the worst. Though no one ever said it out loud. Hmm. Here. It's the photo of Akane-san the boss had us carry around. What? I can't imagine you've seen it. This is her? Akane-san? Oh. She's native Hawaiian. Albeit with some Japanese blood mixed in. Then I have that blood too? Guess that's how it goes. Hmm. Seen her after all this time, the woman. Man. Ten years had passed since Akane's son went missing. Then, one day the boss got an emergency call. It was from an officer of a Filipino group we had dealings with. He found a girl in Hawaii hmm. who looked just like her. Then that mean... maybe she moved back home at some point? Yeah. We'd been looking at that angle too, as you might have guessed. But the boss never knew where exactly in Hawaii she was born. That might be why we still came up short. Hmm. So you went there to take a look? To find Akane-san? Soon as I got word, I was on the first flight out. Hmm. It was just me, though. The boss stayed behind. Why? What? Why didn't he go with me? Hmm. If I can afford to be blunt, it's because he was afraid. He'd had enough. A man can only have his hopes built up so many times. The stronger and more promising the lead, the bigger the hurt when it all fell through. I see. Makes sense. Anyway, off I went. <sighs> Eventually I found her. It was Akane's son, no doubt about it. And she was safe and sound? She was. How about as safe as you can get? Granted, hmm. uh, that presented a bit of a problem for me. Huh? Say all went well, and she returned to the boss. Akane-san would inevitably want to meet her child. And in that case, she'd quickly see that her son's been living with a handicap since the transfer at the coin locker. Now, she might at first say that just being able to reunite is enough. But eventually, she'd want to know about his condition. And she'd probably ask how that happened. Before long, she and the boss would be comparing their memories from that night. Then it had hit. They'd realize they transferred their baby at different lockers. How then would they treat Masato Arakawa, the young master, the boy they believed was theirs? Uh, well... Hmm. No one truly knows what would have happened. But I did know this. As long as Akane-san kept out of Japan, everything here'd stay the same. Neither I nor the young master would have to suffer. 
Wait, then you... You flew out to Akane-san, too. Exactly. When I saw Akane-san, I was planning to kill her. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Even I couldn't help trembling. I had every intention to get rid of the woman the boss loved. However, I ended up walking away. All thanks to something she said. If anyone asks, I've been dead a long time. Hmm. And Akane-san has kids out there? It shouldn't come as a surprise if you think about it. Hmm. A young girl on the run from hired killers. With absolutely no hope of contact hmm. from the man she loved. Who could blame her for anything? From then on, it was her life to live. So I decided to honor her wishes. I gave word to the boss that Akane-san was dead. I told him the Hikawa family had reached her first. That all I'd found was her lifeless body. Nothing more. Hmm. The boss quietly accepted my report. The search for Akane-san was called off. And she was never spoken of hmm. again. Oh. Believed to be dead, even though she wasn't. Hmm. After that, I stayed in contact with her, though sparsely. I needed some control over her so that she wouldn't suddenly get homesick for Japan. You see, you're a certified asshole. Still, I get that this all started because of what Akane-san said. I'm not saying everything you did was wrong. <laughs> well, with the boss now dead and me out of prison, the situation has changed. I wrote a letter to Akane-san. I told her everything there was to know. How I betrayed the boss <laughs> and that Ichiban Kasuga, the boy who grew up in a soap land, was her child. Ironic, isn't it? Neither I nor Akane-san were finally free until long after the boss was gone. Hmm. Anyhow, Ichi, Akane-san, she tells me she wants to meet you. She does? Me? Akane-san's home address. It's right there on the front. Is this a letter from Akane-san? <laughs> it's just the envelope. The letter was to stay between me and her. I'm afraid I can't show it to you. Sure, I get that. Yeah, I'm sure it must be strange to be in your 40s and be asked to meet your mom for the <laughs> first time. But Akane-san's only getting older. A son ought to set his mother's mind at ease before she passes on, don't you think? Well, yeah. This is just one more way for me to atone for all I've done. I'll be booking your flight to Hawaii. You'll leave tomorrow night. All that's left is how you feel about it. Will you go? Not for me, but for Akane-san. Please, won't you see her, Ichi? No. Captain, <laughs> I beg you. Jeez. 
you know, I never thought I'd see the day you bowed your head to me. All right, I'll go see her. <laughs> I would have killed you if you'd said no. Yeah, right, dude. You wanted to have done nothing. <clears throat> wow. Now, we're going to go to Hawaii? What the? What's up? Hey, good to see you're still in one piece. Huh? Were you guys waiting for me? No, I was worried about you, and I somehow missed my chance to get that all. Look who's talking. That's what I had, was about to say. So did you find out what Salvashiro's special request was? Mm. Yeah, about that. Things got a little complicated. You don't say, then how about we head over to survive? Yeah, yeah let's do that. Okay. So, can we... Oh, well, first I'm gonna... Hmm? Pick up... Oh, wow. Cigarette. But... Okay. In it for the long haul. Uh, is there a taxi nearby? Uh, oh yeah, right there. What's this? Is there anything? Go get some food. Okay, welcome. Okay. Okay. Like nobody's even in the cab, that's hella funny. To the bar. I see. Our car never found out Akon son was alive. Was alive and well. Maybe not, but kind of sounds like it was meant to be. Especially since Akani san wanted to keep our Kara, Kara, Kawa in the dark and what you okay. have. Yeah, things changed after the bit boss passed. Who knows if she'd want to meet me otherwise. So what are you gonna do? Gonna ship off hey. to Hawaii? Sure am, but it's not so much that I want to meet my mom. Really, it's more about paying my respect to the woman the boss loved. Kind of my sworn duty, you know. Okay. Well, I'm sure she'd like to see her son after so many years, especially given her age. Wait a minute. You've never been out of the country before, have okay. you? 
This will be the first time. Nice thing is, I've already got the tickets, Captain Sarashiro taking care of it. I'm guessing all, all I gotta do is get a taxi and sure. go from there. Sure, most tourist spots out there have Japanese speaker or two. Huh? Yep. Really? There's been lots of Japanese immigrants over the years. I wanted to mention traveling abroad to people about my age. The first place they'll think of is Hawaii. You know all those quiz shows from way back? The Grand Prix prize was always usually a Hawaiian vacation for two. Huh? A Hawaiian vacation for two? <laughs> Imagine if you went with Sachan. That'd be something, eh? Like she had to ever say yes to that. So you guys haven't made up yet. The message I sent last year is still marked as unread. Shit, really? Ah, uh, what the heck did I do oh, no. wrong? <laughs> hey, let's just forget about that. I oh, know, yeah. Don't you need to yeah. pack? Oh, right. Right, packing. Good, gotta pack for your big trip. There's some stuff to know in advance. Like to watch out for white taxis. A lot of Japanese folks get scammed because crooks think we all look like mild-mannered idiots. Mm. White taxis, huh? Oh yeah, one more thing. Huh? Listen. Before you shove off, it might be a good idea to stop by Owen Arakawa's grave, eh? You're right, I should. Right, right. Got it. All right, we're visiting him first thing tomorrow morning. For now, let's call it a night. Hey, now, no sense moving about it. Come on, it'll be all Thanks. three of us. Hey, thanks. <laughs> well. Hmm. Oh, I... Where I... Listen. Well, shall we? Now that I think about it, this is my first time visiting his grave. Yeah, same yeah. for me. I have been been in a while myself. Hang on, I'll get us a cab. Oh, well, it's basically telling us to take the cab. <laughs> it's telling us to get a cab. Automatically goes there. Hmm. I'm taking off, boss. I'm gonna go meet her. Akane san wants to see me. Arakawa. He had no clue Akane san was still alive. Or that you were actually his son. You never knew about any of it. You know, hmm. whether I'm the boss's blood or not, I can't actually say. Honestly, does hmm. it even really matter? Huh? To the boss, I'm just me. And to me, the boss is just the boss. His blood, my blood, it's not important. It doesn't change a thing. And that's why you won't take a DNA test? If it were me? I don't want to set the record straight. For all I care, I got two dads. I've got the boss right here, and I've got Jiro Kasuga, the man who stepped in when no one else right back. That's Listen good enough for me. Cut him. If you say so. Man, you always got to be so stubborn. Say, by the way, what's that in your hand? Oh, uh... I've got some of the boss's ashes in here. Huh. You get that made somewhere? I want to give it to Akane-san. Uh, you know, provided she'll accept it. So that was it, huh? That's what made you decide to go? Maybe. For what it's worth, I thought it might make the boss happy. 
So, what do you think, boss? I don't want to keep a dodgy in number waiting. I should head out to the station and snag a taxi. Well, should we? Yeah, look, we got our backpack. We're ready to go.
What's up, Nancy? Oh, hey, that thing? That's my pet crawfish, of course. Nancy. I sort of bargained for her life with a homeless fisherman. She's been with me since. Damba stuck her in a clay pot as a joke, but turns out she finds it pretty cozy. Oh, yeah. If I'm going to Hawaii, Nancy will need a sitter. Wonder who I could ask. Uh, Hitachi song, maybe? Huh? That a no? <laughs> Listen, if my stay in Hawaii goes long, you might dry out by the time I'm back. Fine, have it your way. We're in this together. You want to come? Yeah, yeah. Come to Hawaii with me, Nancy? Okay. Keep, good girl. <coughs> Keep cool, Nancy. Now, I don't know if they'll let us take her, but I guess. Hey. What's up? No, I'm gonna get out of my way, man. Jeez. Let's go, dude. Why are you guys slow? Come on. What the hell? That person just... Huh? That person <laughs> just vanished. Oh my god. This loser. Wasn't it... Substory 2. Jeez. 2G man. What the hell's up with this guy? Uh, just another crazy off the streets. Nothing out of the yard. Huh. <laughs> Whatever. We know how to handle the... Roger. Ah, oh, jeez, we gotta take good care of this little low life guy. Yeah, I'll take you out, man. Woo! Oh, man. Here, dude. Take some of this. Level 7. Wow. Stay down, man. Oh, well, only seven experience. That was... Man, what was his problem? I swear, this city's just as ugly as it ever was. Oh, oh a turncoat titillator. Classic. You've not lost a step, Kasada. How fortunate for us all. Uh -huh. It's been a while, my boy. Who? You! Uh, who were you again? Who are you again? <laughs> it's me, you fool. Professor Morikasa, the bloody Sujiman sensei. Oh, right. I was just kidding. Of course I remember you, Sensei. Sujimon Sensei? This guy a friend of yours, Kasuga? Uh, you were with me when I met him, I think. He took us over to his, um, Sujimon Center, right? Come on, man. It's hard enough to remember the names of cute girls these days. Much less scarred up cue balls. Uh, if you say so. Mm -hmm. uh, listen, then. This guy's the Sujimon Sensei. The creep who researches other creeps. Me fill up a whole catalog with data on them. The Sujimon. All right, I never did that, Dan. Guilty as charged. More monster than man, all. And inclined <laughs> to make passers by feel super jittery. Sujimon! Uh huh. <laughs> okay, yes. It's a stretch for the necessary classification. For society to rid itself of these violent creatures. Research and you see. As ever, my ultimate no shit. This world is spite on them. And so I collect data on them. They're That's why you needed Kasuga's help? Since he's always getting his Right! It's coming back. Well, Kasuga? With huh? uh sure. You do still have the suited X and hey, stuff. Hold on! You you deleted my hey man, you deleted the app. <laughs> no cloud backup. Ugh. Nothing to do but re. <laughs> oh, what a pain in the ass. Enough whining. You want to keep Enough the world whining. safe. Don't you? Wait, I forgot. I'm planning to go to Hawaii soon. Will this thing even work? Huh? 
<laughs> well, it should, in theory. But why are you headed there, Mike? I've got some stuff to take <coughs> care of. My boy. Hawaii is known far and wide as this <laughs> paradise. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Mm. One could call it an entirely different region of Sujiman. A tropical dreamscape, yet a land of shadows, blessed by the sun and the moon. In fact, I even heard tell of some sort of Sujiman tournament there. Ah, how would that even work? Perhaps. We'll speak more of that when the time comes. Away now. Remember! Gotta dispatch you gotta them all. Gotta dispatch all. Whatever you say, Sensei. Yeah. No, I don't. To Hawaii, huh? This. You know, I don't remember doing that in the first one. Sorry. Hey, hey, sorry, no, don't only count me, man. I mean what do you mean, man? Oh man. Yeah. You're in it now. Jeez, level nine and then doing hexa damage. Oh, jeez. This is the police. Wow. God. Nope, sorry. Hey, Ichiban, you sure you got enough stuff with you? I mean, it's Hawaii, not a day trip up to some hot spring. You're staying there at least a few nights, right? Bring enough change of clothes? Hey, if I run out, I'll buy some. I hate dragging luggage around. Look at us. First we're homeless, and now we're stressing about extra clothes. Hey, you're right. We really moved on up. This might just be the R&R &R you needed. Take the time to enjoy it. Take oh, time to enjoy it. Gift, but back in months. Sure. Thanks, guys. Well, guess I'm off. Happy travels. Woo! Yeah! And Dachi and Namba left the party. Yeah. Oh, we're in the airplane. Sunrise in Hawaii. Whoa. 
going to the U.S. I'm from the of all of our crew. Thank you for choosing to fly with us today. We hope to see you again soon. Uh, no, no, no. no. Wait, careful, hold on. Oh, please, just just wait one second. Young man and will. Hey. Mind if I take over? Yes, please. Thank you. No need to be so gentle with it. Just lift him by his belt here. Like a sumo in his loincloth. See? Thanks for lending a hand, sir. We appreciate the help. No. If anything, I was being too nosy. I wouldn't call helping a stranger out nosy. I take it you've done this before? Well, an old friend of mine spent most of his life in a wheelchair, so... Ah, uh, yeah, that would do it then. Yeah. Anyway, you here on vacation? Uh, we could say that, yeah. Right on. Well, let's make the most of it, huh? Later. Thanks again. Oh, uh, hui ho. Uh, hu what? Uh, uh, hui ho. It's like saying, until next time. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, we ho! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha We might see him again, I don't know. He said, what? Aloha, huh? Oh, I got the silver taxis. Sure would be nice if the taxi driver spoke Japanese. It would, but... Oh, look! A U.S. dollar! Okay, so... A hundred yen is a dollar. Okay. Oh. Find a driver who knows... Japanese, huh? Speed limit, 15. Hey, what's up, lady? Hey, you know Japanese blue, man? Look at that. Hey. Hey, can I ask something? Oh. Sure. How may I help you? Mind taking a look at this? If he can make sense of it, safe to assume he speaks Japanese. Oh, oh, is that Japanese? What's it say? Sorry. Oh, never mind. Sorry to bother you. Shouldn't be hard. Huh? So obviously that guy can't speak it. Man. Oh man, look at this car. Is that a Cadillac? Yeah. Ooh, Cadillac! Yeah. Look at this, uh... Hey, lady. Is this gonna be a different looking guy? Oh, this guy, what the heck? <coughs> hey. Aloha. Aloha, Aloha. drop up. Uh, this mean anything to you? Hmm? Oh, do I speak Japanese? Oh, you can read it! <laughs> you just come in from Japan? I got you. Now, uh, hop in. Hey, all right! Uh, where to? Here's the address. Look familiar? Hmm, uh, that's a good ways away. Oh, really? Is it gonna be a long drive? First time in Hawaii? Yeah. Cool. Welcome to the island. Uh, hope you have a nice time. Mm 
Then we go, we're off. We're in Hawaii, man. What the heck? Oh. Hey, so you're from Japan, right? Man, I'd love to get out there one of these days. <laughs> you say that to everyone who flies in from Japan? Like this is a sales pitch? Nah, that's just how I really feel. Japan's a wonderful country. It's super peaceful. It's a great food. Yeah, but what about Hawaii? This place is supposed to be heaven on earth, right? Well, the warm weather all year round is nice. But, uh, yeah, Hawaii's got its problems, too. Ah, uh, go figure. And truth be told, we love Japanese guests out here. Uh, they make great customers, and we used to get a lot more before. Maybe you ought to bring your friends next time. Maybe. This time around's kind of personal. You know, you're a pretty upbeat guy, huh? <laughs> that an islander thing? <laughs> no, I, I get that a lot, that I'm easygoing. But I'm not all Hawaii. My dad was from Japan. Oh, really? Then is your mom from here? Yep. Huh. Hey, I guess you're the same as me. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Actually, I only found that out just recently. Hmm. Really? Well, such a nice taxi driver, man. Oh, uh, hey, uh, sorry, but mind if I see that envelope again? I, I want to check the address. Oh, sure. <sighs> we almost there? I could have sworn it was more toward the suburbs when I looked it up. Oh, is that right? Because somebody did their homework. Huh? Oh, wow. Get out. Yeah. What? Um, oh, I thought he was such a nice cab driver. See, this is why I love the Japanese. Butter them up just a little, and they'll trust almost anyone. Should I be putting my hands up? Eh, you can stay as is, as long as you're quiet. I'll want your wallet and your smartphone. And you know what happens if you say no, don't you? You're gonna shoot me? You? Really? You bet your ass. I ask because I don't think you can. Uh, no, uh -huh. I think you can. A lot of people say America's some gun crazy cowboy country. But I doubt many of those cowboys know what it really means to pull the trigger. <laughs> the, the, the hell's your point? <laughs> you scared. Hey! hey. You want to know if someone's going to shoot you? Look at their eyes. A little practice, and you'll get the hang of it. But, uh, <laughs> hey! Didn't think Japan <laughs> would know how to strike back, huh? Maybe now you'll think twice. God damn it! Don't get smart with me, asshole! <laughs> oh, now he wants to fight us? What? Welcome to Hawaii! Crooked cabby. Oh, he got a wrench. Wow. He's got a wrench, man. Oh, he only didn't. Oh, he... Sorry, cabby, man. 
Seven experience, man. You know, if you just did your job, you'd have got a fat tip. But now all you get is a fat lip. Oh, and give me my envelope. Uh, envelope? The one with the address, man. Uh, uh, oh. oh, yeah. Now what? You gonna turn yourself in? <laughs> Actually, it's uh, you I'm turning in. Yo! Huh? Oh that's a cutting What the hell is wrong with you? Spit it out! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, you taxi robbing dick. The fuck? The fuck? <laughs> Help! I am being robbed! This hooter won my money and he pointed a gun right at me! Wait a sec! Don't tell me you're seriously buying this crap! Are you? Alright, alright, smart guy. Put your hands in the air and turn around! <laughs> okay, hang on! I, I'm doing it! Get on your knees! Look right now! I can explain! I swear I just got into town! I haven't robbed anyone! Come on, uh, arrest that scumbag! I'm pissing myself over here! Damn it! Why me? This is bullshit! <laughs> Better luck next time, asshole. Hold on, officers! Oh, there he is. That man is no thief! <sighs> oh, my God. Uh, hey, you're the Ahuijo guy! Yeah, you he should be old guy. It's the driver! He's the real thief. And if you need proof, I recorded the whole thing. Here. Oh, yeah, all right, there you Hey, freeze! Hey, freeze! Hey, you saved my ass. Not even here a day, and I almost land myself in jail. Sorry you had to go through all that. I was surprised myself. Yeah, but what are you doing here? Well, actually, I was following you. Following me? <sighs> That's right. As we were leaving the airport, I noticed you had hopped into a suspicious-looking taxi. It looked suspicious? You could tell just by looking at it? The thing is, I was born here. As it stands, mm. I've got a bit of a, a sixth sense for it. I can tell if a driver's out to scam tourists or not. And he was setting off the alarm, huh? It's not like I was 100% certain about him. But you were so nice to me on the plane, and I imagined what might happen to you. And frankly, I just couldn't leave it alone. Well, thanks, man. You really saved the day. Oh, I'm Kasuga, by the way. Ichiban Kasuga. Kasuga, son. <laughs> My name's Mitamura. Eiji Mitamura. Hey, that's a good name. So, Kasuga, san, where were you headed? If I may ask. I. Oh, shit, that's right! The address was on the envelope! The envelope? Was that what that driver ate all of a sudden? Yeah. I don't know. Did you copy the address somewhere? <coughs> no. I didn't think I'd lose something that important. I see. Actually, hold on a moment. I might have something. Hmm. Huh? You know what? I might be able to work with this. What? Are you serious? I can see the envelope in the video I just took. It's too hmm. rough to read as is, but I can try tweaking the footage. And then we can read it? Yes, I think that should work. You'd really do that for me? Of course. In fact, I'd say this was meant to be. 
But I will need my laptop to enhance the video, so... If it's no trouble... Can I ask you to come to where I'm staying? Oh, sure! I owe you big time, eh, John? Eh, John? You're agey, right? So you're eh, John. Sorry, did, did I get a little too chummy? Oh, uh, no. It's just been a while since hmm. anyone gave me a nickname. Anyway, should we get going? Sure, we'll cheer again. Actually, Kasuga san, aren't you hungry? Uh, oh, yeah. I haven't eaten anything since I got here. Could definitely grab a bite right now. In that case, why don't we do that? I haven't had anything either. All right. First big Hawaiian meal. Let's do it. Hmm. There's a place I used to go to pretty often. We can go there if you'd like. Uh, is there anything you'd rather not eat, Kasuga-san? Nah, I'm game for anything. People tell me I act like it's the best thing I've ever tasted, no matter what I'm eating, so... <laughs> well, that's good to know. Yeah, if you're picking the place, then I'm ready to chow down. Just maybe we keep it cheap, because, you know, I'm kind of broke. Oh, no worries. It's a casual little place. Yeah, we're in business then. Look at these random American. Look at the people with the flame. Look at that. Oh man, going on a trip's great. You yeah, meet all what? kinds of new people. Oh look, there's the guy the first in there with the surfboard. I'm done without that. The surfboard. Yeah, <laughs> Still, all in all, that kind of thing doesn't happen too often. Honestly, I wonder if he's all right. You don't think he got shot or anything, do you? But you're worried about him? A guy like that? Well, I mean, the guy didn't seem evil. Not entirely, at least. Mm. <sighs> You're one of a kind, Kazuga-san. Not everyone can admit something like that. Especially about someone who tried to rob you. You don't think? <laughs> Maybe it's the island. The bigger the space, the bigger the heart, you know? Mm hmm. Kasuga-san, what's the thing you think of when you hear Hawaiian food? Oh, uh, let's see. Loco Moco, I think? Oh, I know I've heard that one before. I mean, hamburger patties and sunny side up egg on rice? I'd bolt that down in two seconds. Oh, <laughs> it is tasty. And these days, it's not just with hamburger. You can get it with chicken or even mahi-mahi. Mahi-mahi? Oh, it's a type of white fish. The big ones get up to about six feet or so. Wow, so is that like a Hawaiian specialty? If I caught a fish that big, I'd never shut up about it. <laughs> it makes for a good story. On that note, Kazuga-san, how long are you planning to stay in Hawaii? I don't know. I haven't decided, but I doubt I'll be here for too long. I'm not exactly here for sightseeing. Oh, then what for? work or something no it's not for work either oh yeah well we've come this far I guess my mom and I were separated at birth and uh, apparently she's still alive she lives out here now I came out here to see her hmm. you were separated hard to believe right it hasn't really hit me yet either oh it's any wonder I can only imagine how difficult that must be. Wait, then the address on that envelope you lost, was that hers? Exactly. 
would have thought some guy would eat the friggin' thing? You sure have been through a lot. <laughs> you know, one door closes, another opens. I mean, here I am now, having a great meal with my new pal. Pal? But you mean me? If it's okay with you, yeah. You've been a great friend so far. Hasuka-san. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. I guess I'd better get you that address then. I can't let my new pal down, after all. Yeah, I'm counting on you. <laughs> Come on, you got in the wheelchair, man. He's gonna be. Thanks. <coughs> man, that was good. That's right. Hmm. Yeah. You see that? I'm going to keep in touch. Mm.
Leave it to me. <laughs> sure. Oh, wow. What the heck? Find the scarf on the beach? <laughs> this is it? No. Oh my god, look, you can... Scarf. Oh, wow, I found it real quick. Well, the gift from the late husband glad we got me? back. <laughs> you think? Sorry for the scare. Sorry. Oh, sorry for that. Exactly what I picture when I think of Hawaii. Tom palm trees way over a blue sea. That's what it about some of that. Something wrong? Back in Japan, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, I'll pass. Come on, you got to try it. It's really good. Your thread's uh, dried from Ellie now? Huh? Oh, yeah. How did you know that? I heard that cough my own way. Yeah, it's sure. good to try anything. All right, give it here. This really is good. Hey, <laughs> told you. I never thought I'd get one straight from a tree like this. can't remember the last time I did something so childish. <laughs> Yeah, it's all a good time, right? No harm if we goof off now and then. Yeah, well, 
moderation key at the top. Anyway, let's just keep going. Got it. It'll be dark before. All right. Let's be on our way then. <laughs> wow. Yeah, pretty happening. Fun. Like this. All day here. Lots of stores, too. I'll say. Good place to pick up. Hmm? What's wrong? Yeah, Jim, what's up mm. over there? On oh, that? They're probably just trying to pick her up. They tend to go after the tourists around here. Well, it's not unheard of. She looks upset, though. Huh? Yep, I certainly think I figured it might. Does that maybe it might be different on the human, no? Sorry, man. I think you could wait here and say, okay. <laughs> oh, Costa got a son, not again. I said, no. Come on, baby. You don't know gotta be scared. Come with us. They'll be fun. Hello there, uh, pardon me. The fuck you want? <laughs> that, uh, shoot. Person there. What's the word? Oh, duh, lady, that lady there. She's in trouble. Not what? good, okay? The hell is this guy on about? Huh? Shit, maybe their English sucks too. The lady. She is trouble, no good. Hey, piss off. <laughs> or, you wanna get your face oh. man? Oh, now this is, I understand. English is one thing, but fighting words, no. What are you doing, Kasagas? Hey, he is trying. Maybe you take a lap, I think. I'm about to throw down. Now you're just being reckless. You might get a little rowdy. You don't get too close. Normally well, I wouldn't, but I'm not about to leave you hanging. At least let me offer support. Seriously? Well, alright, pal. <laughs> you fellas want to go and step right up. Cool. This guy thinks he's hot shit, huh? Let's flatter him. <coughs> Low life. Look at that. I'll show you. Kasuga-san, allow me. Oh, come on. Oh, nice. Let's get Break yourself. Get lost. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dreams of critical. Extortion? Wow. Let's get it done. Thirteen dollars. My bad. Sorry, man. We learned our lesson on it. They said they learned their lesson. I'll bet. So did I master English yet or what? You're asking me? Sorry about all that. You're safe now. Oh, no need to thank us or anything. No big deal. Thank you for saving me. Oh, you're so handsome. Maybe let me say thank. My hotel's down the street, hmm? Come on, I promise you'll be fun. Oh, I, uh... Hey, I helped out too, you know. Sorry, guess I was more her type. <sighs> Yeah, well, she clearly just doesn't appreciate a more rugged older man like myself. <laughs> anyway, it was good to enjoy the island a bit. But, let me head to your yeah, place, excuse man. Me. Actually, why don't we grab a quick bite first? Didn't we already eat? <laughs> like, we already Jordan. ate, man, and now we gotta eat again? Jeez. Didn't we already eat and then it's like oh we got to eat <laughs> before we go to the place I mean Aloha Welcome unfortunately Okay I ten sandwiches I guess
Hey, thank you. Man, Hawaii's awesome. It's gorgeous everywhere you look. I'm glad you're enjoying it. If I wasn't stuck in this chair, I'd show you a few other places too. No, this has been great. Have you been in there a long time, eh, Sean? No. Uh, I was in an accident after work one day. I guess it's been about four or five years since. Oh, an accident, huh? That must have been rough. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, what about your friend, Kasuga-san? You mentioned him earlier. Oh, yeah. He was in an accident, too. He lost his ability to walk when he was just a baby. I met him when I was a teenager. Wheeled him all around town for years. Hmm. I think I wanted to be the legs he never had. Still, that <laughs> wasn't what he wanted at all. Really wish I would have known that sooner. Kasuga-san? Hmm? Oh, oh, sorry. Talking to myself. <laughs> He's a dear friend to you, isn't he? Yeah, he is. <coughs> He's more like a brother, if anything. A brother? Well, that's how one of us sees it, at least. Oh, also, am I going the right way here? Oh, yeah, this way's fine. All right. Hmm. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Kasugasa, if I had to guess, I'd say you have a lot of friends. There's something about you. And you're incredibly easy to talk to as well. Hey, thanks, eh, Sean? I'll introduce you one day. Maybe once we're back in Japan. Oh, no. I would just get in the way. Nonsense! We've got nothing better to do. So, you and your friends, you said you're all in Yokohama? Yeah, Ijincho. I ended up there after getting shot this one time. Woke up in a garbage can. Mm. A buddy of mine who was homeless at the time wound up saving my life. <laughs> you're making things up now, right? It's the no. truth. Honestly, I've never told a single lie in my life. <laughs> you sure that wasn't a lie? <laughs> See, look, you're on my chest. You've still got the bullet wound. You're kidding. Oh, wow. Is that really a bullet wound? Yeah. <gasps> and the guy who saved me is a good friend. Has been to this day. He did eventually find work and stuff. But, as I said, we're all back on the job hunt now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Sheesh, it's all coming back to me. Everything was my fault. I'm why they lost their jobs. Is everything okay, Kasuga-san? Yeah, sorry. Uh, just some baggage I haven't let go of. Well, I don't know any of the specifics. But if they're your friends, I'm sure they've gotten over it. <laughs> you sure know how to cheer a guy up, eh, Sean? Uh, <laughs> don't mention it. Hmm. Here we are, Kasuga-san. This is the place. Oh, we're here? Okay. Thanks for having me. Hmm. <laughs> How's it look, eh, John? Can you pull it off? Well, I'm gonna run the image through analysis right now. We'll know soon enough. Unreal. I'm totally clueless with this stuff. Well, I could never fight off some lunatic cab driver. Okay, analysis complete. Oh, shoot. Sure. As for the address... Huh, I think we got it. Holy crap! How did you do that? Hey, I'm just glad I could help. Hmm, <laughs> You're the man! Thanks so much, Achan!
Wow. <clears throat> the heck? Oh my god. It's you from the taxi. <sighs> it's like a meat locker in here. So, these were the ones giving you grief, Tomizawa. Y yeah, th there's no doubt about it, my son. <laughs> Dude looks like a modern day pirate. Hmm. You know, your face looks awful familiar. Hmm. Yeah? Now, where have I seen you before? Oh, that's right. You're Kasuga, the yeah. hero of Yokohama. Huh. I'll be darned. Don't tell me you boys don't know. Kasuga here starred in the great dissolution of the Yakuza. What? I take it you didn't come for an autograph. Your little taxi scheme went south, and now you want to settle the score, is that it? While it is true that Tomizawa here botched the job all by himself, the car he got impounded belongs to my syndicate. Oh yeah? You trying to tell me there are Yakuza in Hawaii? <sighs> Not exactly something you'd find <laughs> in a guidebook, is it? <laughs> On that note, Someone's going to need to reimburse us. At a glance, I'd say you're strapped for cash. You do seem rather lively, though, so I'm sure we can put you to work. I'll level with you, you're my son. I have no idea how the Yakuza operate out here in Hawaii. What I do know is you've got it ass backwards. If anybody's gonna reimburse you, it should be him. <laughs> I do see your logic. The problem <laughs> is, he's worthless. Oh! Oh, does somebody not drink his milk? <laughs> does somebody not like drink his milk? like that and your bones go crunch. Fragile little thing. How could you? This bottom feeder used to owe us money, you know. And so... I gave him work because he claimed he had no income. So if anything, he should be thanking me. Hmm. Hmm. That's some fine looking tech you got there. Don't you goddamn dare. If you want to fight, you got one. But leave Achan out of this. Kasuga-san, all that's left of your envelope is on there. I didn't think to back up that image, so if they take my laptop... The... Got it. <laughs> but don't worry. I won't let them anywhere near you. <clears throat> it seems we're at an impasse then. <sighs> I'm freezing my ass off in here. Freezing? How are you not sweating your ass off? If only that were the case. Unfortunately, this tropical weather does nothing for me. Nobody understands. However, this might warm the blood. Mm, gee. Yarm, yarm, my. Let me take support here. Thanks, Aton. By all means. Jandy. Yep, to move it. Open one. I got it. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Break yourself. Oh. you. Performance in hand. Let's get it done. 
Oh, I'm feeling he maxed out. Fight. I'm fine, but I'll need time to recover. Struggle to restart. Oh, huh? let's go, dude. Oh, 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 wait, he got to go again. I blocked twice, so we start PC. Defense race. Mm, take a chair to you, man. Oh, perfect guard. Now show you. Here, I saw it actually ring my attack up. Yeah, me. I'm just kidding. If there's more on the way, we gotta go. Right. The laptop safe, and the image of the address is secure. I just sent it to your smartphone. Really? Sheesh. Sheesh. You're in the scary mess because of me. You got guts, Achan. Not at all. I just didn't have much of a choice. <laughs> when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Thanks, Achan. I mean it. You're my hero. Ichiban <laughs> Kasuga, <laughs> eh? Hmm. I think that that guy seems like he's gonna be Ichiban's new rival in this. Which I'm sure that's not the last we're gonna we're gonna probably fight him later on, assume. He's probably the main guy in in the Hawaii. I'm I'm assuming, you know. Well, Kasuga san. Thanks for everything. You kidding? No way, thank you. I dragged you into all that crap. No, 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 don't worry. Honest. <laughs> oh, excuse me. It was an experience. And 
an invaluable one at that. If I'd heard I'd one day get into a Yakuza brawl, I'd have never believed it. <laughs> <laughs> Got me there. Also, Kasuga-san, you treated me like a regular person. You look at me being in a wheelchair like it's <laughs> the difference of being right or left-handed. Honestly, it was refreshing. I really enjoyed our time together. I'm not so good with praise. <laughs> Go on, keep it coming. I gladly would if we had the time. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Achan. Let's meet up again. Uh, once things quiet down. Definitely. Best of luck with everything. Yeah, take care. Ahuiho. <laughs> yeah. Ahuiho, Kasugasan. Ahuiho. <laughs> what does that mean? Until next time. Huh? So, this is where Kane san lives. Call him all, what do you mean? No, that'd be weird. Excuse me, Akane-san. My name is Ichiban Kasuga. I came here all the way from Japan. Actually, Captain Sawashiro sent me. No one there. Is anyone home? Maybe she's out. Excuse me. Hello? Oh. <sighs> Sorry. Come on in. Sorry, come on in. <sighs> Open the door, Ichiban. Open the door. <laughs> I think that's a good place to stop it. The stream. Um. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Um. Let's see. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys uh, next time. See ya. Thanks for watching, everybody.